Hi guys. I was seriously surprised in how many people were interested in my 3D printed heart shaped helicopter that I did, which was really just a test print. It was pretty hopeless, so I've done version two. It's the same basic design. These wings are heart shaped. <laughs> Uh, this bit is the same as the original one, although I've made it thinner so it will be lighter and I've slightly changed it. This uh, tube at the end is thinner and at this end I've just got a hook to hook the rubber band on. The propeller I've made significantly smaller. It was probably, oh yeah, nearly three times the radius, so that's just, uh, what is that, 50? Yeah, probably, yeah, probably 100 millimeter diameter now. So, I'm gonna use a bent paper clip to go through there to make the um, hook for the propeller. This one I've just noticed I didn't actually put the hole right the way through, so I'm going to have to drill that out. I made a little mistake there. Uh, and we'll see if it flies. It's, as you can probably see, it's not symmetrical. Um, I don't think that will make a great deal of difference to it, because it's not going to fly perfectly anyway, and it made it much easier to print. Last time I printed these separately and you had to glue them on, this time I printed it all as one piece which is why it's flat and off-centre. So, yep, yeah, bend up a hook, I suppose, first. Oh no, drill that hole first. Try not to drill a hole in my finger. Okay, so we want a hook. So if we do a little bit that way, ninety degrees, straighten that up a little bit, ninety degrees. 90 degrees, we have a diamond, and bend that back out, so that should do for our hook. Gonna go through there. That might be a bit long where I've left that sticking up. Yeah, shorten that bit. go through there. I put a little bit of a slot on there. So we can just bend that straight over so it should grip. Right, rubber band, 
think we found last time we probably needed two to give it enough power. Other way. It also helped to lubricate that a bit with a bit of grease. That was the other problem I had. These rubber bands are a little bit old and they're not very strong. Okay. Again, but the other thing you can do is lubricate them a bit, put some uh, washing up liquid on them or something, and that makes them last a little bit longer too, because they slide over it itself rather than bunching up too much. Be enough. Hmm. Well, <laughs> I think we might have to make a bigger propeller. I think that we got enough thrust from that. Before it was too big. This time I think I've gone too small. So we might have to reprint that. So the only trouble with this 3D printing, it's too easy to keep printing every change. Think of an idea and you think, oh, I'll just print another one. There you go, these are rubbish rubber bands. Right, before I use the next one, I'll put some washing up liquid on it. Right, are we ready? And can you spot the difference before it goes? Oh, caught it again. I'll go and stand over there so you can see it a bit easier. <laughs> now, if I wanted to fly at the camera, it wouldn't. Let's try and get it to fly up. wasn't very impressive. We'll double up the number of rubber bands. I'll go and put some washing up liquid on that to lubricate it. Oh, oh, oh. Double the power, twice the speed. Just in case you didn't notice. That was the propeller I showed you earlier and it just wasn't moving with that. So we've gone from, oh, that was 40 millimetre radius and that's 60 millimetre radius. So we've gone from 80 diameter to 120 diameter. I'm using double rubber bands. Don't get so many turns on them, but we get more power. So in here, that doesn't really matter because we're not going for distance. Yeah, so there we go. That's version two. Um, it's still rubbish, but it does fly and it flies slightly better than version one. It's a more uh, realistic shape propeller. Whether you could, well, it's now too big to go in a book, so it's not going to work the way the original was designed. And it's eating those rubber bands. Uh, I mean, they are cheap silicon ones, 
but it gets through them pretty quickly. A little bit of light on it for the camera. Just a thought about this, if anybody did want to print their own, I would strongly suggest lengthening this bit so you can get more rubber bands on it. That would also help with the balance, I should think. If we have some more body down here, leave, leave them as they are and just extend this bit down so you can at least double the number of rubber bands. And I would think that would help. The STL files will be linked to in my video description. Okay, I couldn't resist it. I told myself not to do it, but I went and printed another one. So this is version 3. I just realised it's a rather questionable shape now. Oh well, we'll see what YouTube does with that. With their automated algorithms. Never mind. So it's quite a bit longer. And I've got three rubber bands on it now. Okay. Bit of a loop. It's probably good enough to go outdoors now. Except it's midnight. Still not going to go for miles because it's relatively heavy being plastic. <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> nothing like it was originally intended to be when I started designing this. It was supposed to be one of those. Um, or based on one of those butterflies that you put inside books and when you open the book it flies out and hits you in the face probably. This is more like one of those outdoor helicopters but it appears to work so I'll probably put the links to the STL files uh, Tinkercad and Thingiverse, there'll be links in the video description. Let's get that like on it so we can see it. Yeah, the shape of that's all wrong, isn't it? Never mind. Thanks for watching. You'll find more information down in the video description. You might like to watch that video up there and you might like to subscribe over there.